Okay. <clears throat> so exercises and calories. Exercise and calories, I don't put much stock into it. Okay. The calorie counters that you find on the, the treadmills, the ellipticals, even the Fitbits and the wearables, they are not accurate at all. Okay. If you are working out, you're going to need more calories, plain and simple. And I put this graph graphic on the side um, showing you what the calories equal to certain amount of exercise. But it doesn't really matter because if you're exercising more, you're going to need more nutrients and none of the foods listed there have any nutrients in them. They're all fake foods. So you're going to need more nutrients and you're going to need more calories because if not, then you're going to go into survival mode and you're not going to be able to recover from your exercise because like I mentioned in part one, exercise is a stressor. It causes inflammation in the body, but it's a good inflammation. It's a good stressor. We break the muscle down. Then we go home. We get the nutrition. We get the stress relief. We get the sleep that we need. Then our body recovers and we're able to do more next time. And then each time we are able to do more, we bring our body closer to health and being fit and looking the way that we want. But unfortunately, if you're not consuming the calories or nutrients that you need, then you're basically going to be in constant survival mode. You're always going to be thinking the tiger is chasing me. What do I do next? Hormones are going to go out of whack and all that stuff, bad stuff. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So be sure to watch part one, especially that survival mode. So I talked about a whole bunch of stuff that can put you into survival mode. And if you're in survival mode, it doesn't matter what you eat. Okay. It doesn't matter how much you eat. Pretty much everything is going to body fat storage. It will go to immediate energy. Then it will go to body fat storage, which is not what we want, obviously. <clears throat> 